Hey, welcome to the first video in a new playthrough that I'm going to do of Dark Souls Remastered. I am going to try to play through the whole game with a cleric. I have never done this before. I'm going to try, um, I'm going to try to play normally. I'm not getting the master key. I'm going to play with the, uh, the sort of the standard sequence and, uh, see what happens. So let's begin. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and dark. Then from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy. So easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north.
where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Undead Asylum. Here we are in Dark Souls Remastered. It, uh, it definitely looks different. I'm not quite prepared yet whether to say I think it's better or worse. But it is definitely looks different. So let's pick up the dungeon cell key that we just got here. Here is a message right away. So we just picked up this key, the dungeon cell key opens dungeon of undead asylum in the north. Key to the dungeon of the undead asylum to the north. A mysterious knight without saying a word shoved a corpse down into the cell and on its person was this key. Who was this knight, and what was his purpose? There may be no answers, but one must still forge ahead. An apt metaphor for life. Um... So we're carrying a dark sign. The dark sign signifies an accursed undead. Those branded with it are reborn after death, but will one day lose their mind and go hollow. Death triggers the dark sign, which returns its bearer to the last bonfire rested at, but at the cost of all humanity and souls. So that's what allows us to respawn at the bonfires. I wonder if you can drop that. What would happen if you, if you did drop that? If you could drop that? So I picked up uh, fire bombs as my starting gift. I did not want to get the master key because I wanted to make sure I went through the game in the proper order here. I'm hoping I can get a, a nice clean recording of, uh, of, of like a normal standard playthrough of the game. Um, I have a heal spell. Elementary miracle cast by clerics restores HP. To cast a miracle, the caster learns a tale of the gods and says a prayer to be blessed by its revelations. Heal is the shortest of such miraculous tales. So that's what we're starting out with. Uh, I think we also had some armor. Holy robes. Um, robe donned by men of the cloth. Though plain to the eye, its hardy fabric repels rain and keeps the body warm. Those, dis those dissatisfied with church teachings ah, I can't speak. Those dissatisfied with church teachings must test their faith by going on a spiritual journey. Such is the ritual self-purification of the way of white. I guess I'm in the way of white. I don't have any rings. Um, all I have is a straight sword hilt is what everybody starts with. I got Separation Crystal, Banish Phantoms. Uh, that's a PvP thing. This black crystal, long a symbol of farewell, is granted to Banished Undead. The crystal sends phantoms back to their homes, or sends you back to yours. Beware of fickle use of this item if you intend to nurture relations. So that's like a uh, get out of PvP free. All right, let's get out of our cell here. I am starting this recording on Friday night, June the 8th, 2018. K 
Camera controls, right stick is the first message. Right button to attack. I am gonna I'm gonna look through everything and, and look at stuff. By the way, I'm not just gonna like speed run through this. It's been a while since I've played, so I'm gonna be rusty, so uh there is that too. We can see through the bars here, there's a big creature walking around over there. We will come back to see him someday. There's a, uh, a hollow here, but I'm just going to ignore him. Right trigger for a strong attack. There's a blood stain. Somebody actually died here. Cool. PvP, I guess. Interesting. Uh, left, um, left stick and hold B to dash, so hold down the B button to dash quickly. These controls are similar to Dark Souls 3, but not quite the same. Uh, right stick button to lock on to a target. Very important mechanic in Dark Souls. Go up the ladder. Rest at bonfire. Recover hit points. The first bonfire. Eh, let's just go ahead and rest. Ah, so I can attune magic. I only have one spell, so... Not, uh... Not much there. I can't actually cast a spell yet because I don't have the uh, the gizmo that lets me cast spells. There's a door over here, but it does not open from this side. So I, ha I have, uh, just to let you know, I have played Dark Souls several times before, so that I'm not going to be surprised by anything in this game. This is not a blind playthrough. I am playing the game again. This is the remaster. It's the first time I'm playing the remaster. I'm playing it to see what is different. And also, I think I mentioned this to get a good clean recording of the game. My first blind playthrough of this game, I did record a lot of it, but... Boom. Look out! It's an abyss demon! Oh, okay. Run away! I forgot to read the message. There was a message down there that said run away. So, uh, you, you can't fight him. Well, actually you can. I actually could have killed him with my black fire bombs there. Um, and if I had done that, I would have gotten a, a nice weapon drop, but I would not have been able to use that weapon until much later, so it's really not that big of a deal. I guess maybe I could have gotten an achievement for that, but whatever. Get your shield, says the message. Is there a, uh, whoops, don't stand there. There's a hollow at the end of the hallway shooting arrows at me. East-West shield. Let us, let us equip this. Um, okay, yeah, here we go. Trying to remember how this game works. This is my equipment selection. I have my shield in my left hand. Ah, uh, the thing about Dark Souls, I need to remember this. Uh, you have to actually remember to close that menu up there. Because if you don't, and you try to use your buttons to attack, then it actually works the menu instead of attacking. And I get, I, get, I have a problem with that, like, constantly. So I need to remember that. And I need to turn down the volume on my headphones because it's kind of loud. Okay, what's this message say? Open menu, arms icon, change equipment. Okay, we just did that, so... Thanks for that. I'm going to use my shield to block that arrow. Run after this hollow. But first, there's another item on the floor here, which is a mace. I'm going to replace my straight sword hilt with the mace, which does 91 damage instead of 20 damage. Oops, I just put it away. 91 damage. Uh, you know, let me read the text. 
iron hammer with a protrusive pommel, standard weapon for clerics. This simple bladeless strike weapon is effective against most foes and can break the guard of a shield. However, one miss leaves one wide open. So that's the mace. The shield description is a wooden shield decorated with the ancient symbol of a double-headed eagle painted yellow. Wood shields are lighter than metal shields, but with lower physical damage reduction and reduced shield stability. I am going to be reading... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, hey, whoa, he actually... Ah, see, I just did the thing that I needed to remind myself not to do. Oh, and I, I took the, uh, the mace out of my, uh, hand. Good job. Um, yeah, I left the menu open so I couldn't attack there a second ago, and I, like, just said that I needed to remember not to do that. And then I just went and did that. So now I have an arrow sticking out of my neck, and I've lost some health. Good luck, says the message. Uh, left, uh, D-pad, left and right to change weapons, really? Is that true? Hoggle items, okay, I knew that one. Oh, 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 okay, I see. I thought it was saying that left and right D-pad would cycle through the weapons, but it, what it actually means is if you press the left D-pad, it cycles your left weapon, if you press the right D-pad, it cycles your right weapon. That's what that means. There's another blood stain here. Let's see if we can see this. Somebody got killed. Oh, he was trying to parry. He was trying to parry and he got killed. Oh, that's so embarrassing. So embarrassing for you. Be wary of night. Rating two. I don't think I have any way to uh, rate messages yet. Imminent Sorrow, reading one. So, there's a white fog. Traverse the white light. White light, I mean. And we are now in a new area. Through the bars there, I can see somebody sitting there. We're now, now in... Uh, like a balcony overlooking where the bonfire was. Another blood stain. Somebody got killed by somebody. I don't know what. B to backstep. With the left stick to roll. B to backstep, right? Or using the stick. Okay, so I'm going to have to remember... Um, well, I don't know. It feels normal to me. I wonder if they've made any changes to that. Um, I, I was... I was remembering that I thought Dark Souls had a slightly different dodging mechanic than uh, Dark Souls 2 and 3. Like it would only... It would only dodge in one of the four directions. But it, it kind of looks like it's dodging whatever direction I'm pointing the stick. So that's that's a nice improvement, if that is an improvement. All right, so let's walk down the stairs here and open this door down here. That's the door that we couldn't open before. Now we're going to walk up these stairs carefully. Oh no, there's a boulder! Dodge! Oh, it hit me anyway. <laughs> I dodged and it still hit me. Good job. Alright, broke open the wall. Now we can get to this guy. Huh, that guy didn't... didn't dodge the boulder. There's a boulder. My dog is snoring over here next to me, in case you can hear that. All right, let's talk to this guy. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. 
Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Thank you. Oh, and this. An undead asylum, F2, East Key. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. No, thank you. For the key. And the Estus flask. X to use item. So I now have an Estus flask, which I have just selected by pressing the down D-pad. Uh, down D-pad arrow, that's how you select items down there. Um, you know, I might as well drink it. Because I'm about to use a bonfire anyway. Wait, was this message here before? Rest that bonfire, replenish Estes flask. There we go. So, I am going to go down the stairs. Whoa. I just heard a sound. Oh no, he's dead. Sorry. Thanks for the stuff. Oh wow, somebody, uh... Ah, I didn't even know you could get here. Here! Is this a... No. <laughs> I was gonna say, is there a secret there? No. There's no secret there. Okay, so I'm going to go run over here to the bonfire. And I think I'm going to try to keep these videos pretty short. So, I am going to stop here. And I will resume from this point next time. See you later.